Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Club and in this video I'll explain how to deal with special characters in functions using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object appears which is called x and we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the console that our character string contains the letter X several times. And then in between it contains special characters. So let's assume that we want to apply the G sub function to this character string to replace the dollar sign in our character string. Then we might try to apply the G sub function as you can see in line 5 of the code. So typically within the G sub function you first would specify the pattern that you want to replace and then you would specify the new pattern that you want to insert instead and then you would specify the name of the data object in which you want to replace a certain pattern. So let's assume we would try to apply the G sub function as you can see in line 5 of the code. Then you can see at the bottom that the dollar sign is still in our output However, we have added the character string new that we wanted to insert instead of the dollar sign at the end of our character string. So this is not really what we would have expected when running line 5 of the code. So in order to deal with a special character such as the dollar sign in a function such as gsub, we need to specify backslashes in front of this special character. So I'm doing that for the dollar sign as you can see in line 7 of the code. And in this line of code I'm using exactly the same syntax as in line 5. However this time I'm adding two backslashes in front of the special character. So in this case in front of the dollar sign. So if you run line 7 of the code you can see that now our output is as expected because now the dollar sign has been replaced by the character pattern new. Similar to this we can deal with other special characters within functions. So for example in line 9 of the code I'm using backslashes to deal with a question mark. So if you run line 9 of the code another output is returned in which the question mark has been replaced by the character pattern new. And if we run line 11 of the code the open square bracket has been replaced by the character pattern new. A special case appears when you want to deal with backslashes in functions as you can see in line 13 of the code because this time we need to specify even a third backslash to deal with our special character backslash. So if you run line 13 of the code you can see that another output is returned and in this case the backslashes in our input character string have been replaced by the character pattern new. Please note in this tutorial I have shown how to deal with special characters based on the G sub function. However in the R programming language there are many functions in which you can apply the logic that I have used in this tutorial to deal with special characters. So some of these functions which are using this logic are shown at the bottom right. So for instance the functions that are shown here are using this logic. So in this video I have explained how to deal with special characters in functions using the R programming language. However in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.